Hello everyone. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about this agent called as pilocarpine. Pilocarpine is actually a direct acting cholinergic receptor agonist, which means it directly binds to cholinergic receptors and thereby increase the activity of acetylcholine present in the body. If we talk about its structure, it is actually a tertiary amine, which means it has three atoms being attached to nitrogen present in its formula. It is easily hydrolyzable by acetylcholine esterase. If we compare it with acetylcholine or its derivatives such as bethanicol and carbacol, it is actually less potent than them. And it is actually uncharged which make it penetrable to CNS at therapeutic doses. So it can show CNS effect at therapeutic doses. It has muscarinic activity and is primarily used in ophthalmology. So if we talk about its action, it can cause meiosis when it is topically applied to the eye and it also causes contraction of ciliary muscles. When the eye undergoes meiosis, it experiences is part of accommodation. The vision becomes fixed at a particular distance, making it impossible to focus. Pyrocarpine is one of the most important agent for treating glaucoma, which is open angle glaucoma or angle closure glaucoma because it, it, it decreases the intraocular pressure of the eye. Not only this, it also causes increase in the secretions of sweat, tears and saliva and therefore it can be used to promote these secretions in conditions such as xerostromia. So patient having xerostromia because of irradiations of head and neck in such patient, we can give pyrocarpine for increase in secretion of saliva. So it is a potent stimulator of secretions. But its use for producing these effects has been limited due to lack of selectivity. It is also used in patient having sojourn, sojourn syndrome this syndrome is actually a autoimmune disorder which is characterized by dry mouth and lack of tears so in such patient we can choose pilocarpine to increase secretion of mouth and tears this meiotic action of uh, Pilocarpine is useful in reversing the madrasas due to atropine. So, for the reversal of action of atropine, which is madrasas, we can use pilocarpine as meiotic agent. So, it actually causes emergency lowering of intraocular pressure thereby it can be used in emergency treatment of glaucoma if we talk about the adverse effects which are caused by pilocarpine so pilocarpine can actually cause blurred vision not only this it can also cause night blindness Other than that, it can cause bro ache. Poisoning with this agent is characterized by exaggeration of various parasympathetic effects, including profuse sweating, which is called as diaphoresis, because diaphoresis is actually a sweating, but it is in terms of adverse effect of some drug. So it can also cause diaphoresis. It can also cause slivation, 
because excess of everything is bad so the effect are similar to those of which are being caused by consumption of mushrooms of genus inosib parenteral atropine is administered in case of overdoses of pilocarpine and vice versa so we can use pilocarpine for the overdoses of atropine and we can use atropine for the overdoses of pilocarpine so it can counteract the toxicity of pilocarpine